This is a picture of the greatest king that the ancient kingdom of Israel ever had. I wonder if anyone knows his name. Does anyone know my name? <laughs> yes, King David, that's right, yes. I, I wouldn't mind being like him in some ways, but not others. Ask a grown-up. Um, <clears throat> see when they get embarrassed. Um, there were three great kings in Israel. Saul was the first. He was a natural leader. He was a tall man and, and actually everything went wrong. Oh. Bluntly. He was kind of, he should have been a great leader. He looked like a leader, but actually he didn't have the heart of a leader. Uh, and then there was David who was chosen. And this was tricky because Saul was still king and he didn't like the fact that David was the person who the Lord wanted to be king. And Saul had a son called Jonathan. And we'll see a picture of David and Jonathan. And this made uh, Saul even more irritated, if we can have the next slide, because uh, as the battles went on, David became a great leader. And Saul didn't like it. Even more, he didn't like the fact that David and his son Jonathan became best of friends. And the next slide shows us them. They became the best of friends. They were really, they said that no matter what anything else happened, they would be true to each other. And because of some of the terrible things that were going on, there came a point when Jonathan had to run away and hide because his dad wasn't a good man. And Jonathan had a son and everybody else in the house is glad they haven't got to pronounce his name. Can we have the next slide, please? Jonathan's little son was called Mephibosheth. See, I told you everyone was really pleased they hadn't got to say his name, weren't they? Yeah. Mephibosheth. A and a nurse ran away with Mephibosheth to try and hide him. And she tripped and dropped him. It was not good. And it damaged his legs in a way that never quite recovered. When David became king, he remembered this was the case. Jonathan had died, and uh, he, David sent out his servants to say, can you find any of the relatives of Jonathan? Because I want to be good to them. And they found Mephibosheth, and they brought him, and he knelt before King David. Next slide. He was really worried because there'd been this terrible, terrible argument between Saul and David, though David had always tried to do uh, what was right. Uh, and Mephibosheth came and he was really frightened. And David said, Jonathan, your father, was my best friend. Don't be afraid, Mephibosheth. You will get everything that was belonging to your father. But more than that, the king said, I want you and your family always to eat at my table and have the very best. Let's have the next slide. Even though Mephibosheth was fearful, he came to realise that even though he didn't deserve anything, King David wanted to give it. 
And so, final slide, for the rest of his life, Mephibosheth got to uh, sit at the king's table and to have the very best of things. A story we're going to hear in here later reminds us that Jesus uh, steps on from that and talks of the fact uh, that God invites each one of us to his family table, to be part of a feast, not because we deserve it, but because he offers and we have the choice to accept his invitation to be those who believe in Jesus and receive the gifts he has to offer. <laughs>